How we doing? How's everybody today? I think this is one of those games that you really look forward to as a competitor. You know, it's the opportunity to play, you know, in our stadium against a really good team. Um, I think, you know, the players look forward to that. Uh, it's great for our fans. It's great for our players, the environment that they get the opportunity to play in. But I think, you know, internally, you know, we want players to be working to get the, the kind of mental intensity that you need to, you know, practice with a sense of urgency. Uh, so you're developing the right habits so that you can go execute and do your job on a consistent basis. And, you know, if you evaluate our team, you know, to this point, you know, in the games, when we do things correctly, um, we're pretty good. But when we don't do things correctly, and it only takes one person on offense, defense, special teams, you know, not to do their job correctly um, with the focus and intensity that you need to be able to execute, then we're not so good. So that's the key to the drill to me is can we, on a consistent basis, have the kind of focus and mental intensity we need to develop the habits that will carry over in the game that help us play with more consistency. So. You know, that's what we're really focusing on this week, and hopefully we're making some progress. Hey, Coach, uh, do you have an update on Tyler Booker and Jaheim Otis? Yeah, Tyler Booker is practicing, and so is Jaheim Otis. So they haven't had issues. Uh, that doesn't mean they're still not day-to-day -day in terms of, um, you know, coming back and getting over injuries, but they are practicing. You want to have a side of Chase? How is Jalen Milrose practice week going? He's doing good. You know, I think his energy has been good. Uh, I think his attitude has been great. And um, I think the execution on the field has been good. So it's been good. Uh, Wes Neighbors is their safeties coach. Uh, what has it been like for you from afar to see his growth as, as a guy who played for you guys and was on staff and is now growing as a coach? Yeah, he was on staff here, and I always knew that he would be a really good coach. And, um, you know, he's developed into a nice coach. Those guys play really well. His guys play well. They play hard. You know, Pete does a good job with the defense. they got a good scheme. Uh, I think they're playing a lot better on defense because of it. And um, they play with a lot of inspiration, and they, they do a good job of executing the scheme. And I'm sure, you know, Wes has um, a lot to do with that. You've had roughly um, half the amount of freshman appearances combined this year compared to last year. What would you say goes into that? I don't understand the question. So the amount of, like, freshmen that have appeared in the game, you've had 20 this year compared to 35 last year at this point in the season. Yeah, well, um, I think last year we had two out of three games where we had an opportunity to play a lot of players. This year we've only had one opportunity to do that. Um, I do think we have, what, two freshmen starting. And um, I don't know how that compares to how many guys we had in the past. I don't know what the significance of that is. Um, you know, if we don't have to play freshmen before they're ready to play, I think that's probably a good thing for our team. But I also like to see the growth of the young players as freshmen so that when they do get an opportunity to play, they'll be able to take advantage of it. A couple more. Go to Austin and Nick. Yeah, Coach, you talked during camp a lot about the depth at the running back position. And so far, we've seen mostly Jace McClellan and Roydell Williams. Now that SEC play is going to, or do you expect to get any other guys in the game? Well, I hope so. Um, I think Jace and Roydell have played very, very well, both guys. Uh, but I also, we also have confidence in Jam and, you know, Justice. And I think both of those guys will contribute at some point in time in the season pretty significantly um, because they're both really good players and I think they're both ready to play. How do you go about uh, filling up the backup quarterback position? Should anything happen to Jalen during the game? Uh, right now, Ty Simpson has been getting most of the work with the twos, and uh, I thought he did a good job, you know, when he went in the game. Uh, so, you know, he's kind of earned the right to be in that position, and I'm sure that, 
he'll continue to compete and try to get better, and that'll be good for us in the long term. And we want to develop every player that we have in that position and continue to work with all those guys so that they all get reps and I'll have a chance to improve. All right, thank you.